Yeah, 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 yeah. This is another video from the unshaved man himself, the foul man, Y chromosome. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Okay. I had to start off like that because wrestling is really fucking pissing me off, man. It's, it's disappointing, it's depressing, it's fucking all this type of shit. I mean, the state of wrestling as a whole, the business is fucking ridiculous. I mean, Raw, February 3rd of Raw edition, where Randy Orton didn't offer no explanation as to why he attacked Edge. He didn't, he got in the ring, he was like, Meh. He didn't offer no explanation. And Charlotte Flair, after being offered a challenge, she was bragging about she's the queen. She's won all this fucking titles and shit. She'll be 10 time women champion, all that shit. La, 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 la. Just got the bragging rights. Miss Cookie Cutter herself. Miss Robotic Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair. Miss Robotic herself. After she was offered a challenge from, I think her name think was Ripley or some shit. So it's like a dude that was like, it's like God said, fuck, I was going to make you a woman. I was going to make you a man, but fuck it, you're, you're a dude. It, that's what she looks like. So she comes in and she challenges Charlotte Flair. So you can, you haven't beat me. How about you go for this belt? So Charlotte Flair just goes and walks out, walks the fuck out. Undermining her character. I hate it when fucking assholes fucking characters do that. Why are you backing off from a check who's supposed to be the best in the world? That shit is fucking old. Why does WWE, why did why do they write this shit? This is a fine time to be writing storylines like that when a man doesn't explain his actions. A bitch walks away after receiving the challenge, undermining her character. That's a fine time to do that. No wonder you got the lowest fucking rating. You broke, you broke another fucking record. You deserve it with your half-assed attempts at putting on a good show. Fuck out of here, man. I saw that segment when, um, when Liv Morgan got beat by, uh, beat up by, uh, her former, uh, partner, Ruby Riot. I watched this shit, I was like, and to be honest, I thought it was pretty fucking funny. But it was, I was laughing at it. So that's the thing, I wasn't laughing with, I was laughing at it. I mean, shit, people say, oh, the beatdown was underwhelming and shit. Yeah, it's fucking PG. Haven't you heard? It's fucking PG. They can't go too far. Even though I did enjoy the Randy Orton um, beating Edge's ass segment. Even though they it, it could have been better, you know, but it's PG and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the difference between the Randy Orton turn uh, beating up beating on Edge and Ruby Riot beating on Liv Morgan was that one of them had emotion involved in it. It was, it had fucking storytelling within the faces and the characters and shit. The Liv Morgan one was like, it was a fucking complete joke. It was. The Randy Orton versus Edge, I didn't see it as a joke. I saw it as, oh my God. You know, <laughs> shit. And I have to, I'm yet to, um, Take down my notes for the. I gotta take down my notes for. That's why I did the video yet about the AEW. It was like seven promises that they made prior to Dynamite, but they didn't keep. I only jotted down a few of them that actually actually um, caught my attention the most. So I'm not gonna go through all seven, but it's from a uh, wrestle. Uh, what culture? I think it's their website. Whatculture.com. Yeah, what culture? I think it's what culture. Wrestle culture or some shit. But yeah, um, that's where I got it from. By seven reasons, seven, uh, not seven reasons, seven uh, promises that, that uh, 
AEW. I hope I didn't say TNA. What the fuck? AEW has made, but they didn't keep and shit. I was like, fuck, I got to make a video on that and shit, you know? At the doctor's office and I ran across the article, I was like, shit, let me fucking uh, put this in my memo and shit. You know, me put these points that I want to talk about, you know? So I got to do that, write this shit out. Because unfortunately, as I'm doing the video, I can't access my memo as I got the video on, you know, because it's in my phone. You get it? You know. So, yeah, so fuck, uh, fuck Raw, man. Received the lowest rating once again. They're breaking records for sure, you know, low records. Um, it's ridiculous, man. Despite the fact that Edge returned, people knew he wasn't going to be in fucking uh, Raw this week. They knew he wasn't going to be on, on the February 3rd edition of Raw because he got his ass whooped. He's going to be out for a minute. But everybody was probably respecting Randy Orton to explain himself, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't deserve a reason. The fuck, man? I didn't fucking watch it, so he's like, he didn't say that. I don't give a fuck what he said. I didn't watch it. I just know, I just heard about it, so. So. I mean, it's like the only thing I can look forward to is fucking betrayals and beatdowns on WWE. That's a damn shame, man. That's a goddamn shame. So, that's all I can look forward to. So, that's why I watched the Liv Morgan set because if Ruby White and her got to get back together and reformed the Warrior Squad and shit, I'd be like, that's fucking boring. I ain't watching that. You know. But since I heard that Rui Wright ended up beat beat giving big giving Liv Morgan a beat down, um, I watched it. You know, just reminded me how much I fucking hate Raw and SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? And you got Goldberg coming back and shit. Who gives a fuck, man? I really don't give a shit. Do you give a shit? Oh my god, fucking Goldberg. Who's next? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Wrestling is really, man, the value of wrestling has really, really declined over these years, man. I mean, holy fuck, even AEW is fucking showing it, you know? It's like it started out good. It's always like that. It always starts out good. A story angle starts out good, but it comes to shit. AEW started out fucking great. Now it's becoming bland. I mean, yeah, they got good wrestling, but mm, there's other shit that's fucking up the company. I mean, they're losing ratings. They they going they going for three fucking weeks. They've been lo they've been steady losing fucking fucking views for three weeks. And today is uh, Wednesday now, and as of this upload, it's Wednesday. Um, so, are they going to lose more viewers this week? What the fuck? People are tuning out. Oh, they're going to fucking WWE. You can't be certain about that. They probably going to fucking watch Marvel versus Marvel uh, movies and shit and watching fucking MMA or watching football or basketball. They probably watching that shit instead. Say, fuck it. Wrestling ain't shit. I'm out of here. Fuck wrestling. That's what I believe was happening. At least for the most part. Because who the fuck will stop watching AEW to watch WWE? What, what the fuck, man? That's like me going from play, PS fucking PlayStation 5 to PS1 because the PlayStation 5 is bringing out games that are lackluster. I'm, so I'm going I'm going to go back and play PS1 then, even though I never fucking played PS1 before. I'm going to play I'm going to buy the system, play all the games on PS1 because PS5 is is making me upset. That's how that's what it's like to go from AEW to, to uh watch WWE and shit. That's what it's like. It's like shit, man. Yeah, the value is fucking gone. And the uh, hype is gone. And I still can't believe that 
that WrestleMania is compared to this fucking Super Bowl. WrestleMania is WWE Super Bowl and shit, you know. I guess I can understand it, I guess, but all in all, no, it's not. Just because people go to WrestleMania or, or actually, no, I, no I, just because people watch WrestleMania and actually fucking go there when they don't watch wrestling all fucking year. Okay? It's, it is a spectacle, that's for sure. I had one guy, he said, well, I, I don't know who's who, and, and I don't know what the rivalries are. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to go to WrestleMania Live. I wouldn't be caught dead in the fucking parking lot. Let alone 10 miles from the arena where WrestleMania is, is fucking uh, showing. Fuck out of here, man. I wouldn't go to SmackDown taping. I wouldn't even go to fucking Raw taping. I wouldn't even fucking go to, I mean, a show. I wouldn't even go. Oh, it's better if you're there live. Still don't want to go. How's it better live? Jesus Christ. Shitty. It's fucking shit. I'd rather go to fucking NXT. I still give AEW. I'll go to one AEW show. You know. But god damn. Oh, I was watching the NXT um, segment. Uh, 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 Judah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Judas Priest? No, Damian Priest. Judas Priest, what the fuck? Damian Priest. Now, by the way, before I get started on this segment, I gotta say that's one of the coolest fucking names I ever heard in wrestling, period. Judas Priest has a fucking nice ring to it. So this guy comes out, he says, I can get all, I can get the ladies and shit. And it's like two or one woman going, woo, in the whole fucking arena. I'm like, I, I had a fucking play it again. I was like, wait a minute. They're like, woo. It, it sounded like it was only one that said, woo. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was a guy that said it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that would have been like if it was some gay dude. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Damien Priest, that's a, that's a cool ass fucking name. I like that a lot. And I'm looking forward to uh, making a video on uh, this AEW shit uh, about their promises and shit. I'm, I, I got a lot of fucking two cents. I'm going to pour into the, to these notes of my adding different shit, commentary and shit like that. I'm looking forward to making that video. I really am. So, wrestling fans, stay tuned for that. Because I think it's going to be a long one. Because I'm like, am I selling my viewers short or my subscribers short? Not going through all seven um, promises that AEW didn't, 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 didn't live up to? No, because, because I guarantee the video is going to be long enough. It's going to be about 20 minutes long, I bet. Probably a little over 20 minutes. Because AEW is becoming a disappointment. I got to admit, they are. So, so yeah. Uh, this is why Chromosome. Signing out. Peace and love.